2020 KTM Freeride EXC. Thought I'd do a little summary of it. I've got about four, it's almost 450 miles on it now. Um, a little over 33 hours. I've had it for a couple months. I've, uh, I've ridden it in a lot of different conditions and just thought we'd do a quick summary. So pluses and minuses, stuff I've experienced with it. First off, in that time, I've had zero issues with the bike. Um, nothing at all just charge it turn the key and ride it lube the chain so that's good it is a ktm premium product so negatives uh, first thing well first thing on any electric bike people are going to always ask is how long how long will it go what's the range so real world range for me i'm in map three right now that's the full power map it's been about hour and a half to two hours and probably 20 to maybe 25 miles though I've ridden it as far as 38 miles but that was the complete stop dead and that was mostly in map number one almost all map number one which is only 50 percent power and goes about 33 miles an hour top so range if you can live with that that's what it really is that's what I have found number two negative is uh, 220 volt charging the you just got to have a 220 volt line somewhere and match up to their three prong plug that, that comes with the charger uh, and i don't know why ktm obviously the bike was designed in europe and the charger was set up for europe at least the the new ktm mini cycles come with a 110 volt charger which is nice um what's another weakness oh brakes formula brakes well obviously i have other ktm products and once you get used to Brembo's, it's hard to it's hard to accept anything besides Brembo's. But the Formula brakes are just simply marginal. They're they're okay, and uh, they're just not as strong. You got to really pull the lever on them. But I see for 21, they've made improvements, so they should be better. Um, the stock tires, they're Trials Maxxis tires. Oh, that's one of the fun parts about this bike. Zero to 30. Anyhow, getting back to the tires, uh, in this dry stuff today, they're absolutely fine. Air them down a little bit, and they're super soft compound. They'll get plenty of traction. they got a nice soft sidewall, but they're not... I, I, you get them in the mud, they're not very good. But uh, they work great in the dry and on rocks and stuff like that. you got real compliant sidewall. So, and uh, I think that's... Those are really my, my kind of negatives, but the positives... First is uh, the stealth. I mean, it is so cool to be in the woods and just be able to hear everything. That's what's neat about electric, number one. Number two, like I mentioned before, is that instant, that torque. These things have like 31 foot pounds of torque, and uh, but you can't see it. In the GoPro, they are quick. I think uh, I've done some little comparisons with my buddies uh, YZ 250F, and you know, off the line from up to 40 miles an hour, they're pretty close to a 250 moto bike. They just jump off the line so quick, and it's just throttle. You know, you just turn the throttle. You don't have to worry about gears or anything like that. So that's cool. And agility. I don't have many. Re reciprocating parts it's just got one rotating rotor in the motor so that makes it uh change directions quick and when you get into this tight stuff that really you don't feel the 238 pound weight of the bike it just flips back and forth so easy and part of that simplicity you know, it doesn't have a rear brake pedal, so I'm just doing everything from the controls at the bar. And then I can use my feet to weight the pegs and help in turning. So the agility factor is excellent. Now it doesn't have a clutch. And for extreme guys, it's kind of a pain sometimes. But for me, it's never really been an issue. Even like something like this, I can just, Turn the throttle and pop the front end up and get over stuff. There's 
that quick acceleration and change directions. The suspension is set up flush. It's soft. I'm 190 pounds, six foot two. It's probably a little soft for me, but I prefer that it absorbs all 10,000 bumps around this lap. It doesn't even deflect on those roots and anything. It just absorbs them. But I'd rather have the suspension absorb all the little tiny bumps, and I'll just slow down for the four or five really big inputs. But yeah, fast guys and guys that are jumping a lot and stuff, they're gonna wanna stiffen it up. But for me, it's perfect. I think KTM did a good job with the spring and damping rates for the targeted use of the bike. And that comes down to, if you look at my channel, I do a lot of lap time comparisons with this and some other bikes. I've been blown away by just how effective this bike is going through the woods on these trails. It's often within seconds of my Erzberg 300. So, super easy to ride. And we talk about easy to ride. I can think of map one is, is a 50% uh, power. And that's a perfect map to, to introduce people to motorcycles and teach people how to ride. If you've got a beginner rider in your family, it only goes 33 miles an hour. And even if they, they go WOT, it's still very controllable. It's, it's just a nice map to just introduce people. And then you go to map three, which is where I like to ride, and the bike's character completely changes. It's so much more responsive than it. It just goes, and I think peak uh, speed's about 50 miles an hour, so it's not geared to go that fast. I run everything stock on mine, so another kind of cool thing about it is, as I mentioned before, with maintenance, it really isn't much. Just uh, lube the chain and charge the battery. There is a gearbox. I think you need to change the oil in every. I think it's 80 hours, I'll have to look in the manual. But if you can live with the, kind of the limited range, current battery technology, these bikes are a total different off-road riding experience. They are, I ride a lot of different bikes. And yeah, they're not gonna replace my gas bikes, but man, they are just, this free ride is so much fun. Makes me anxious to see what else comes out. And again, this is, KTM is a major manufacturer, so you can trust them. Premium quality, build quality, and technology is the latest. So I'm anxious to see what, what else they come out with in the future. Twenty twenty EXC KTM Free Ride. Two thumbs up.